Welcome to AKMTB. Today I am going to change the control arms in the back of my Jeep CJ. And uh, that's a quite straightforward job. Uh, you need of course new control arms, two 21 millimeters sprockets. And uh, I prepared it by jacking up the car and I having two jacks on the subframe and I have two jacks in the axle. Uh, the reason for this is when you are removing the control arm bolts, uh, it's not going, the axle is not going to move away from you and it should be quite easy to put the new ones on. At least that's uh, the idea behind it. Uh, as always there's, uh, always, there's always something coming up and that will mess your ideas up, but we'll see if it's going to work out. Uh, there's also a hole in the axle that you need to keep track on so it goes on in the right way. And um, be aware also that the bolts that hold uh, the control arms on, they are pretty, uh, they tend to get stuck. So uh, if you're lucky, they come off easily. If you're unlucky, they are not. So, uh, it's also a good idea to remove the tires because that makes it easier for you. Uh, so let's dig into it. Oh, there's two bolts holding down the control arm, one in the front and one in the back. It might be tricky to put the wrench in here. So I'm gonna see if I could come from underneath. And I'm not gonna be able to do this. So I need to do this the traditional way by breaking it loose uh, manually. That should be just as easy. Probably maybe even better. So let's get it, it on there and let's get one in the back. Well, that one came off without messing with me too much. I think I, that I probably need to relocate this jack a little bit and just move it inwards. Now I'm gonna do the same in the back and I'm gonna start breaking that one loose and then I'm just gonna remove the bolts and replace the lower control arm. So far so good. Uh, so next step, we we'll break off the bolt in the front. This one is a little bit tricky to do. So I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna brush off the treads here. So the treads are uh, way cleaner now, so that should probably work better. And I'm also gonna put some penetrating oil on it. Okay, let's uh, give it another try. Doesn't move at all. So uh, next thing I'm gonna try is to simply break it loose. Uh, manually without the impact wrench. Sometimes that works better. Uh, another thing I'm gonna try is to use the impact from the other way. So this one is clearly a struggle. Uh, I'm gonna try heat it up heat off the bolt here. Um, I really, you, you have to be quite careful here, otherwise you might break it. Uh, and then you need to replace it. And I don't want to do that. I totally recommend you to use uh, propane or fire when you're heating it up or, but I didn't found that. So I'm gonna use my heat gun.
and just hold it there. This might take a while though. Let's see if I get any luck. That made it actually, so that's some good luck. But I'm not gonna share yet because I don't have it off yet. And that's it. And be careful when you pick this up if you use heat, it's a little bit hot. So, but I got it off, and that's a good thing. Now we just need to get the bolt out. And a good trick to this is to use your impact wrench. But I can't get it in here, so I'm gonna try to use my uh, air gun to see if I could get it off. There it came, and it's off. The lower one, the lower one goes out easily now. Well, at least I thought so. The front one is off. And here's the old one, quite rusty, but the bushings are still okay, so... But anyway, I had a new ones laying around, so it's always a good idea to swap them out. Before I continue forward from here, compare the new one with the old one. And these are the same, so that's perfect. Now I'm going to clean up the bolts before I reinstall everything and I'm simply doing that with a brush on my cordless drill and I brushed them off and then I'm going to put some copper grease on it before I attach it back. Okay, so the bolts are cleaned up and before I reinstall them I'm going to put some light coat of copper grease and I'm gonna put that the whole way from here all I'm gonna put that from here all the way down uh, Just a light coat and also on this part Let's slide it on the new control arm goes on like that, no problemo. Let's put the bolt there. Also put some light amount of copper grease on that one and attach it. And now we have the moment of the truth, kind of. But first I'm gonna put the grease on the other bolt. And now we have the moment of truth. If this aligns up just great as it is. Okay, it seems like the bracket here is too tight, so it doesn't get back in, which is quite interesting. The old one slides on just fine. I decided that I'm gonna grind this down a little bit. So I'm gonna take my grinder and then I'm grind, gonna grind it down a little bit. That will make it fit even better. As you can see here, I took the grinder and grinded this down a little bit. So now it should fit uh, without any issues. And it does. So we're back where we started. So I put this one down on there and now I put it in the top as well and it lines up perfectly. 
So the whole purpose with this was, with the jacks was that this one would go on um, without the axle moving away from you. So now that when it's now that we have the rear control arm on. The next step is to jack up the axle so you simulate the car's weight on this one. Because if you tighten this one down, uh, now you're going to put some tensions on the bushings that is uh, correctly and you will um, put some uh, wear, premature wear on your uh, bushing control arm and that is not good. So jack up. Uh, the suspension and put some weight on it and then you tighten it down and they, they should go down pretty tight so I'm just gonna like tighten it pretty hard and so now I'm gonna jack it up and now it's time to tighten it down And the same goes on the other side. So what's left now is to do the other side. The other side is exactly the same as th this side. Uh, the fronts are also the same. Uh, this method with the jacks uh, works both in front and rear. Uh, so it's a good method to use. Uh, if you like this kind of videos and want to see more content on how to do stuff on the Jeep, click here to see the full playlist. And if you like my channel, click here to subscribe. I release a new video once a week. Uh, thanks for watching and I see you soon.